Hi guys. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, just, you know, I'm gonna do the usual. Pull today's energy and see what's going on with the collective. Sorry, I'm not really that chatty today. Just been feeling like totally drained of energy. Wondering if anyone else is feeling the same. Just like lethargic. First card, Scythe, Burn Whip, Letter, Well, Birds, and sun. Someone's cutting something out of their life at this time. I mentioned this in the past, a past reading about um, how grain is sustenance. So someone's cutting out a part of their life um, where they used to um, gain sustenance. So it could be a job. Um, I feel like it's a job, but it could also be a relationship. It's something where um, you feel like you you're like getting energy from, and I feel like the reason they're doing it is because there's just too much conflict. I feel like they've decided that um, they want to clean up their life. I feel like this is both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because no cards have come out to indicate otherwise. So I feel like they're both in the place where they want to um, clean up the parts of their lives that they feel like are conflicted or no longer fit or, you know, ruin their reputation. I feel like what they're gonna cut out may have been something that they had worked very hard for um may have even been a long time dream but i feel like it's not living up to um their expectations any longer and i feel like this is the reason too much gossip, too much backstabbing, um, 
too much interference by others. It's just, I feel like too much negativity. So I feel like there's gonna be some kind of communication, like I'm done with this. So it could be a resignation. If it's a job, it could just be um, a breakup text. I know that sounds really awful. Please break up if, in person if you can. It's just out of respect, I think. But So breakup text, and I feel like this message is just going to occur because um, there is a desire to just be happy. I feel like, and I can almost relate to this actually, I'm going through a similar thing with my job. I'm just, I feel like I've come to the end, you know? But anyhow, I feel like this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, um, when they associate with other people, they want it to be pleasant. I feel like they're not really into the negativity any longer. They just want to Sorry guys. Just want to um, have positive people in their lives and have positive interactions and be with people that are on um, similar wavelength who want to build people up rather than, um, you know, criticize them, that sort of thing. Sorry guys, you might have uh, noticed a cut there, it just the camera seemed very out of focus to me, so I wanted to fix it a bit. Okay, anyways, um, I feel like there may be a, um, a desire to be more independent. Or the desire to spend some time alone. Um, I just feel like this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine are finding out that what they wanted isn't turning out to be what they wanted. So they decided that they're just going to cut, cut the conflict, start again in an effort to find what really makes them happy. And it's going to start with communication, so whatever form that may be. Resignation, breakup note, a confession of true feelings, that's what I just felt. some hesitancy with this removal. I feel like there's a bit of holding on that is happening because it's like there's uncertainty. I feel like Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are asking themselves, is this the correct move? Am I sure that I want to do this? I also feel like there is trouble um, getting up the nerve to send this letter. I feel like there's um, trouble finding the right words. I feel 
feel like this decision to cut these things out, it's, I feel like there's a sense of loss of identity. It's like, I'm giving up every, everything that I've ever wanted. Who am I now? That's what I feel like is being asked. I feel like there's the questioning of the people that are surrounding. I feel like Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine in this reading constructed their perfect life and got everything that they want, thought that they wanted. But now they're so miserable. Um that they have to let it go. And I feel like a lot of the problem is other people causing conflict in their lives, which is something that I don't think that they expected. I feel like what they're finding, both of them, is that they th place their happiness in being with someone or being around people and they're finding out that that is not what makes them happy I feel like what they're finding out is that other people cannot make them happy, that they have to make themselves happy, which is why I feel like they have decided to go into isolation. I just got the word manifesto. So I feel like Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, maybe like journaling a lot at this time or maybe sending their closest people um, a letter about their true feelings the sum total of the letter is just like I'm not happy I'm going to look for my happiness I feel like divine masculine and divine feminine may be getting into a lot of verbal arguments with other people because I feel like these other people are Trying to steal um, what was divinely given to Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. I feel like they don't want Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine to find happiness. And I feel like they both reached a point where they have to cut. There's no other um, there's no other action. It has to be done. I feel like they've tried everything else. It hasn't worked. They've found no relief and now it's just like they realize they have to let things go.
Okay, sorry about that. Four of Cups. King of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Temperance. Tower. Hierophant. To me, this card is like stagnation. It's like, I feel this negative way and I need to do something to change it. I feel like this card also represents the realization um, that nothing is going to change unless I am proactive. Divine Masculine showing himself. This card makes me think definitely work. So Divine Masculine for sure is not happy in his job. I feel like he is suffering from job dissatisfaction. I feel like he knows he's unhappy and he knows that he needs to do something to change it. I feel like he might be unhappy not only with how he feels but also with how much he's being paid. Resignation. I also feel like he may have asked for a raise or a, some sort of promotion and was denied. So now he is going to resign. So yeah, this time masculine just has reached the end of the road. Um, he feels like he can't grow any further in his job and um, in his life if he stays in this job. So I feel like he's decided that he's going to move on because he feels like Anything that's meant for him will make him feel balanced. He'll be emotionally happy. He will be happy with his finances. And that's not what he feels at the moment. I feel like his ultimate goal is just to figure out what he truly wants for himself, as mentioned. Again, interference from others. He's just not there for it. I feel like these outside influences um, have negatively, negatively affected his life. I feel like they're making his life miserable. And he has decided that he's going to put an end to it. I'm 
almost feel like he's going to give them what they want. It's like their goal is for him to leave, so he's going to give it to them. Because really he's not garnering any satisfaction um, any longer uh, by staying. Keep in mind this could be in other areas as well, not just work. This could be relationship-wise as well. Um, he, Divine Masculine could have reached a point where in a relationship where he's not happy, he's not growing, people around are just causing him conflict, the relationship is not what he wants, so he's ending it. These cards make me feel like I feel Divine Masculine feels like spiritually he's missing something. I feel like he feels internally that he should be experiencing um, happiness in his life. I feel like he believes that um, God's spirit wants us to be happy. And he does not feel that in his current situation. I feel like for a long time he accepted like the status quo. It's like, well, this is what I'm um, supposed to do. This is what is required of me, you know, by societal standards. But I feel like he's come to the realization that he doesn't have to live up to society standards. It's almost like the only person that can judge me is God's spirit. That's the only person that um, I need to um, report to what's, it's like what society says that I need to do I don't that's the realization that he's coming to I feel like he's also learned that conflict um, is also a very good alarm system to let a person know that they're not on the right path um, because God's Spirit wants us to have peace in our life um, of course that doesn't mean it's going to be all the time but I feel like there's a Bible verse that says that God will make if God is favoring you he'll make even your enemies be at peace with you and that has not happened for him. It's just like constant, persistent um, conflict that doesn't let up. So he feels like that is telling him that he is in the wrong um, position or place in his life. So he is writing letters and telling people how he feels and what he's going to do about it. I feel like he's reached a point where it's like he was a people pleaser and now it's like he's putting himself first. He's sorry if he hurts your feelings or you don't like his decisions, but it's like he has to um, figure out or do what's best for him. Yeah. These cards are the people around him. <coughs> Excuse me. 
even though um, they have made his life so miserable, they are not going to want him to leave. It's like... It's like they get their kicks um, from causing chaos in his life. So once he's gone, who do they have to torment? So while they're making his life miserable, they're going to at the same time be trying to make him stay. Because ultimately, they don't want him to be happy. And these two cards make me feel like this is a spiritual thing. It's like negative energy in the spirit world does not want divine masculine to be happy. Because I feel like divine masculine's happiness includes his relationship with God's spirit. Um, so as he moves towards his happiness, he's also moving towards a deeper relationship with God's spirit. So that's what negative energy does not want. So that's why the, like the people that are around him are tormenting him, but want him to stay. Because they know if he leaves, he's going to move closer. Or the spirit, no, spirits know that he's going to move closer to God. Um, so they're trying to stop that. But I feel like Divine Masculine um, is very dead set on finding his balance, discovering what he truly wants. He's gonna tear these people down that are making his life a misery. And he is going to move towards um, happiness, spiritual growth. Um, I felt like that was a bit all over the place and I apologize as I mentioned I'm just a little I don't know off I guess lately um, there is going to be an extended if you are interested in purchasing it on my Vimeo channel um, which the link will be in the description um, last words is divine masculine is you realize that you are and this is for Divine Feminine too. I feel like she's also going through the same experience is recognize that you're unhappy. Do what you need to do in order to um, retrieve your happiness back. Do not let others torment you or or get you to stay in a position that you do not want to be with knowing that the tactic is to keep you stuck and prevent you from moving towards um, growing spiritually so keep doing what you're doing you're being divinely uh, led and the end result is happiness and spiritual growth so if, again if you're interested in the extended it'll be in the description i love you guys and see you next time bye